Maybe you have been in the situation where you are creating a new application from scratch, and let's say there is a view there that lists people or orders or whatever, and when you try the application in the browser, well, there is no data in the grid or in the table or whatever, right? So uh, you go ahead and create a script using maybe SQL or maybe a Java method with a for loop in it that creates data, uh, if it's people with names such as name one, name two, name three, or orders, order one, order two, order three, etc. Uh, and that's completely all right. But it turns out Vadin has a helper class that you can use to create more realistic data. So I'm going to show you how to do that, how to create a number of records there with that, that look uh, like real, more closer <laughs> to the real world. So I created a new project using start.vadin.com and then I imported that into IntelliJ IDEA and made some changes. So I removed some of the code and I introduced some dependencies. The first one is um, Spring Data with JPA, the MariaDB JDBC driver, Lombok to save some typing later, and this is the interesting one. So the group ID is com.vadin, it's an official dependency, and the name is example data. So this was a very interesting discovery for me, <laughs> and uh, I want to uh, share um, how to how to use this dependency in your projects. It could be very useful, especially when you're like I said, beginning with a new uh, application. Anyway, um, let's begin by configuring the database connection. So I have I'll, I'll show you. I have a MariaDB instance running in this machine. And there is a, a database uh, schema, I think it's called book demo. So I need to configure the data source. So the URL, the URL for MariaDB is, let's try to find it from here. I think I saw something there actually already. Uh, this, this is the one. So let's copy that. And instead of DB, is book demo. Spring the data source. Now I need the username is root in my case. Spring the data source password in my case is password. Uh, and the other thing that I want to do maybe is uh, the JPA um, Hibernate Hibernate DDL auto to create so that should we use update now? Let's use create so that. Anytime we restart the application, uh, we recreate the whole database. And I think that's it. All right. Now, um, on the code side, I'm going to uh, create two packages here. So one for the backend and another one for the UI. So let's start with the backend. For the backend, we need class to encapsulate the data uh, of a book. So probably we need a uh, an integer for the ID. We need a string that contains the image data. I'll explain that later. A string that has the title of the book, a string that has the author name, maybe a local date to store the publish date, and maybe we can have another integer here for the number of pages. And since I have Lombok, then I can use data. And for the um, equals and hash code, I'm going to use only what I explicitly include here using this annotation, include. So that two books are the same if they have the same ID, regardless or whether these uh, um, uh, fields have uh, different values. All right. So that part is ready, but we need to map these to uh, JPA or using JPA to map it to a SQL table. And since we added entity, we need to add ID here and we want to generate this value. And the strategy is going to be identity and the image data is going to be a lot. So the actual content of the, of the image uh, is in this string. And it's going to be very easy to use uh, in a more uh, real life scenario you should use maybe image url and then you uh, or location and then you start you store that either in your in a local local hard drive or somewhere in the cloud or whatever right 
instead of storing that in the uh, database itself but uh, we're gonna do it like that this time I think that's all right so yeah let me show you that we have all the uh, all the getters and setters and and we have um, equals and and hash code so this is ready for for persistence or persistence ready okay so let's read the book repository which is a class that actually access to the um, database and I'm gonna use the repository uh, um, annotation here it's not it's, it's uh, optional but I don't know I kind of like it uh, it's very explicit that this is a rep uh, spring managed repository so it's actually an interface by the way interface and uh, we don't need to implement this interface spring data does it for us at runtime all we need to do is extend for example JPA uh, repository and it's a repository of book objects and a book object has an, in, uh, an ID of type integer and that's it with that we have all these methods so count delete um, by some uh, parameters uh, exists find all also in multiple ways uh, what else uh, get by ID save save all a bunch of uh, very useful methods so this is done now the UI shouldn't use the repository directly because it's kind of coupling the uh, persistence technology that we are using JPA uh, to the UI and instead of that we're gonna add uh, kind of a, a class that uh, um, encapsulates which technology we're using to, to connect to a database and I'm gonna call that book service service All right and it's of course it's a service that's gonna be managed by spring because of this annotation and we need a reference to the book repository we can have it here it's fine because it's private now of course we need to inject this using the constructor and uh, we could we could type here auto wired but it's uh, optional and now let's create a new uh, a new uh, method that returns all the books and we simply return repository find all I guess uh, that's it okay so we have the very simple service class of course we can add as many methods as we want the back end is ready now How about the UI so let's create a book uh, books view there's gonna be uh, several books there and let's map to our these two are routes so we can access that from the browser and we're gonna extend um, vertical layout and here we also need uh, actually we don't we don't need that we can just create a constructor and we can inject the uh, the a book not repository but service service All right so spring is gonna pass this right because uh, again spring is kind of creating these uh, um, instances okay so we have the service and what we have to do here maybe it's create a new grid of let's put it here of books let's call this grid assign that to that that variable and we can add this grid to the vertical layout but I want this grid to be a set to be uh, sizeful so set sizeful and the same for the vertical layout set sizeful so that it uses as much space as possible in the browser uh, and what else do we need here well maybe we need to add the columns so let's add a column for example for the title and let's set the header to title let's create one for um, let's see what else we have here author author let's create one for um, published date and let's create one for I guess it was uh, pages pages and for the image I'm gonna use a different method and I'm gonna do it right here at the beginning because I want that to be the first column so add component column because it's an image so we need to create a UI component for it and uh, this is gonna take a book and then we can uh, 
we can add, we can return from here a component and that's going to be rendered in the browser. But so I'm going to actually use a new method for that, get thumbnail. Let's create this method so it receives a book as you can see there and we are going to return an image from button flow. New image, let's create that right away. So that's image. Uh, let's use uh, yeah, let's use var here. Return image. Now um, this image receives uh, the source, so we have the data, image, image data, and it needs the alt attribute as well. So I'm gonna call actually. Let's use the uh, title of the book, and then we can say this is the cover for that title. And it, this, it, this is a thumbnail, so I'm gonna set the height to a certain amount of pixels, I don't know, 70. Uh, we can try that. But I don't want to stop there. I want to add, let's do that after this. I want to add a click listener so what we can we can expand the cover and see it uh, uh, bigger. Mm. And this has an event, and let's create a new method that's called uh, show cover, well, for this book. And yeah, we need to create this method. So we have the book. And what I have to do here is, well, let's create the dialog first so we understand what we are doing. A new dialog that we are gonna uh, open, dialog.open. So now it's shown in the browser at this point, but we need to add all the components here. And what component we need or, or the component we need is just image again so we know it's book.get image data and then I'm gonna use just cover here var image equals this and we pass it over here and that's it so I guess if I didn't make any mistakes this should work let's try it out Right, local host 8080 because we use the empty empty uh, route here I don't need to type any slash anything so at least we have the columns but like I said before this is a situation we don't have any data and we want to see data there so we are we are sure that the UI works um, the, in the way we want and for that I'm gonna create a method here that it's also a bean. I'm gonna use the uh, command line runner create demo data if needed and this returns a new object of that type but this can be abbreviated as a lambda expression and we need here the book uh, maybe we should use the search, but we're gonna use the repository here. It doesn't matter. So for this one, I'm just gonna use the repository because it has all the methods for saving uh, entities. And the first thing is that if, because I wrote here if needed, that means that if in the repository the count of books is zero, then we actually create demo data. Otherwise, uh, let's not do that. And this point where we start to use I'm gonna go ahead here again just to refresh your memory the example data dependency so first we need to create a new example data generated generator of type book and this needs a local date time so local date time now this is going to be a uh, generator we can use var here it's very clear what the type of this variable is so we can use var and now we can configure this generator and that means setting like uh, the data or or where the data is going to come from so first we can get a setter because we're going to create instances of this class book so we need a setter for each for each um, field that we want to populate there 
so let's start with book set image data and here we specify a data type but there are some already defined data type dot and I think I have book image URL is what we need for this one generator dot set data book set title data type dot book title generator dot set data book set uh, publish date data type and let's say uh, okay date last in the last 10 years should be fine for books in this database and uh, generator again set data book set um i think publish date right no that we just did that set uh patients data type type and then i guess it's number up to maybe it could be a very big uh book 1000 now i promise that there could be let's see let's go inside this it's a number between one and one thousand maybe that's not what we need but we know how to change it because we can just copy this here it's pretty cool and just adjust as we want so i want to use let's say a book should have at least 20 pages uh, and max a thousand pages um yeah did i miss anything here image data let's check here title author author i forgot author set author and i, I think there is a like something called full name and so the, the cool thing is that there are many of these things here so you can use like an address uh, um, book image background city company name country domain food product name iban occupation phone number sentence state two words a word a zip code uh, there are many kind of uh, many types of data you can you can use price etc um, so with this we are creating or we are we have configured the generator now how about creating the stuff so generator dot create and you pass how many books do you want here let's say we want only 100 here and for these uh, let's use uh, what should we use here random uh, new random next int and let's pass just to make it more interesting system dot no not that uh, current time in milliseconds mm. actually no let's use uh, uh, let's, let's use math uh, next uh, no, what, what what am I doing? Uh, this is the bound. Yeah, no, forget about it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I don't know. I got confused for a moment. Uh, this was uh, okay. This was the seed, so it's fine. Let's use. It's funny. We are using a random generator to create the seed for our random generator. Okay, it was a, a bit uh, maybe a bit too much. Uh, anyway, let's leave it as is, uh, and this returns a list of books and we can save these books because we have the repository so save all the books but maybe i want to log some stuff here stuff look for look for j2 and we want to say here that we are actually um, generating demo data and then at the end or in fact we want to know how, how long it takes to create that data so it's actually this so let's create a new stopwatch so i get to show you this one it's pretty cool 
from bash comments var stop watch equals this thing we need to start this thing start so it starts counting and here stop watch just stop stop it and then we can log info demo data generated in and we say for example stop watch um, get time and we should say what it's the uh, dimension of this number so milliseconds um, very good so let me uh, restart this application and have a look at the um, at the log and see uh, how long it takes to create what was it that we put 100 books so generated generating demo data in three seconds approximately okay very good and if we go here we should hopefully see the data oh we we don't see the data can you guess why the problem is here because we created data but we never populated the grid grid that set items and we have the service find all right let's uh, compile this again uh, it seems like it should have restarted but there was a problem let me check this out actually to be completely sure I'm going to restart the server and let's see if there are any problems still generating demo data generated this time it took a bit less time interesting no issues found that's very good to hear and and we have it okay so we have all the all the books here with uh, names that look kind of real and uh, all the configurations that, that we established there and there are really funny names like oh this I haven't test, tested uh, this part it's too small let's change that actually real quick here so this dialogue should be this image first should be set sizeful or sizeful and this dialogue should be let's set a height of 90% so there is some border around it but it uses a lot of space uh, this should reload automatically and and I guess it's still generating the demo data that's why the grid's empty now it should be in the database there we go so yeah it's working let's check out some of this <laughs> very much living a healthy life and with a nice photo of healthy food apparently there's a bird here let's check this out ultimate guide to being a bird <laughs> so it's pretty cool the 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 names that it generates and there is a computer here the life changer debugging <laughs> oh, pretty good uh, there's another here where was it there's a guy looking at the screen the mother of all references creating software <laughs> wow that looks like a, it, it gotta be a big book it's not that big actually <laughs> anyway so you get the idea you can create this kind of uh, demo data very easily using this class all right there you go that's how you can create demo data thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video